Hi, my name is Susie. I'm a philosophy lecturer here at Newt University, and I would like to use the opportunity to introduce you to our BA in philosophy, politics, and economics that you can study here at Maynooth. So assume the first question you want to ask yourself, uh, what kind of degree you'd like to choose, um, which would be important for your future, but something you would enjoy. I think what is special about the PPE, that unlike most other degrees, you study on an interdisciplinary level already from an undergraduate level onwards. As you can see here, you have the details, so it's the same CAO entry code as the arts degree, and it's the same entry points. But again, unlike most other subjects, uh, you have the chance to study all three subjects from year one all the way through to year three, or if you would like to have the BA International in PPE then for four years. It is a recognized brand, so if you would Google PPE, you would see that, for example, uh, Oxford offered it, Harvard offers it, and in the last recent years, UCD has also started a PPE degree. And so you would not come out with a BA in Arts or a BA in Economics, but with a BA in a PPE. What was important for us, other than it is interdisciplinary all the way through, is that it's flexible. And I know that we sometimes only know after we have started to study something if we'd like to continue it or not, or if you're good at it or not. So what we have introduced with the PPE is you can start off with the PPE. So that means you start off with all three subjects, philosophy, politics, and economics, and you can choose a fourth subject, or you can choose uh, critical skills. And then after year one, once you have your exams done, you can decide what you want to do for year two. So maybe you would, I don't know, think about, well, you really like politics and philosophy, but not economics, and then you can change from the PPE into an arts degree and continue with politics and philosophy. Or you would like to major in economics and then you switch to a major in economics. So you're very flexible and uh, you have your first full year to decide how you want to go forward. Uh, and finally, because it is set up as being interdisciplinary, it gives you kind of a quite wide variety of possibilities to how you can continue uh, to postgraduate level. So you can either continue with the PPE, the MA in PPE, you continue with politics, economics, and MA in philosophy, etc. And of course, you might ask yourself, why would you like to study all these three subjects to begin with? And I always thought that this quote by James Keynes really sums it up. So he says, the ideas of economists and political philosophers, both when they're right and when they're wrong, are more powerful than is commonly understood. Indeed, he says, the world is ruled by little else. And if you let that sink in, you realize it is true, because how we live, what kind of things we value, what kind of society we live in. All these values, ideas, concepts, and so on have been developed by these philosophers, by these thinkers, by economists, and then they have been put into practice. So it is very important that we know these ideas in order to well, have an impact ourselves on the kind of society life situation that we would like uh, to live in. That these three topics go together is not a new idea, and indeed, a lot of the previous thinkers very much recognized how important it is that we think all those concepts together. Adam Smith, he's a very well-known political thinker, but also quite influential in early economics, said the following about the distribution of wealth. But improve the circumstances of the greater party can never be regarded as a... Con con hmm. This is what one of the earlier thinkers, Adam Smith, had to say on the distribution of wealth. What improves the circumstances of the greater part can never be regarded as an inconveniency to the whole. No society can surely be flourishing and happy of which the far greater part of members are poor and miserable. So as you can see, for the early thinkers, it was very important that the well-being of the individual, of society and economics go together. And this is one of the main ideas behind the PPE degree that we can look at, well, how do these things uh, work out? How should they go together? The three stands answer different questions, and yet, as you can see, there will be an overlap. So here we have some questions, some ideas that you will be studying in philosophy. For example, should the economy serve the greater good? 
what are the values that shape our society? And if I would ask you, you probably would come up with ideas like freedom, justice, rights, equality, the importance of being able to develop our own individuality, but also the common good. And of course, that would also mean that we ask ourselves, well, what do these ideas actually mean? What if they clash? What if there's a clash between developing my own individuality and the common good? And philosophy will try to help us understand these concepts, but also provide us with different answers, which we then ourselves evaluate. So I put the idea of thinking in here, because thinking and critical thinking, self-evaluation, is a very, very important aspect of philosophy. The second strand is politics. And you will have an overlap in questions, but a slightly different perspective as well. So here are just some questions that will be asked in politics. So how is power organized in our society? What are the political concepts, the political ideas that underlie our political institutions and values? On international level, what are the reasons for war and ethnic conflicts in international relations? And of course, the final one, how are public opinions formed? Last but not least, uh, of course, we also have important questions in economics. And here again are just some. Uh, and of course, you are aware of these questions because they are debated in the media all the time. So why are some countries poor and some rich? Should governments borrow and spend to allow recover from recession? And if so, how much? This clearly is going to be a very important one in the face of the COVID-19 crisis, for example. A property tax is a good idea. Why is it still the case that women earn less than men? And I think you see from these questions that we have overlapping questions in all three subjects. And I think for me, at least personal, one of the most important ones is that we all have to ask ourselves, well, what kind of society do we actually want to live in? What kind of values are guiding our lives? Should we have a country that remains in lockdown to protect the health of the citizens, to protect the health of the most vulnerable in society? Or should we open up in order to have a flourishing economy? How do we balance those two things? How can we battle populism and deal with its consequences? What role should the economy play in our society overall? So these debates, um, as you know, you know, should society serve the economy? Should the economy serve the society? The question of important political events and their impact. Uh, we had the Brexit being debated for a long time, now being taken over by the COVID-19 crisis, but also climate change. And I think, from my perspective, we need more people who understand these questions from different perspectives and not just from one. So the philosophers quite often may understand the theoretical implications, but they don't understand the economic practicalities and, of course, the other way around. So people who have an understanding of all these ideas are really very, very neat. Of course, if we ask ourselves, well, you know, why would I study this degree? That's the question of interest. And I would always say, choose something that you're actually really interested in. But there's the question of the career. And here are just a number um, of career options. These are studies being done by other universities. So what do people who have a PPE do with their lives afterwards? And as you can see here, it's quite a wide range of career choices, politics, journalism, business management, uh, but also public service. Uh, including diplomatic services and local government. Now, PPE has been um, in Maynooth for quite a while. So Maynooth University was the first university to establish the PPE degrees on MA and undergraduate level. So at this stage, we can look at the choices that our own graduates made, and I've just listed some of them here. So a large number of graduates have gone on with a postgraduate degree, either an MA or a PhD, and as you see in all the subjects of so philosophy, politics, economics, but also related subjects such as social policy. We have students who have now taken up a research position in the ESRI, so the Economic and Social Research Institute, very established uh, institute. And uh, one student from last year who has now taken up a position in Brussels for the Northern Irish Executive. This is a student testimonial from Kahal Coffee from the PPE class from two years ago. And as you can see, he was very, very happy with the PPE degree 
uh, and he said it really was something that enabled him to continue on further with his uh, research. Uh, finally, of course, you may have a number of questions that I haven't addressed yet. And so here are my contact details. I'm the program coordinator. My name is Susan Gottlöber, and I look forward to hearing from you. Please email me anytime if you have any questions. Thank you for listening.